Everyone, welcome back to some more XCOM, and we have a UFO landing set. Aside from last time, we got Ethereal, Baton Elite, uh, Heavy Floater, and Floater. Uh, we haven't seen Floaters in a while. Uh, anyways, uh, on this mission, we are bringing on our newest member, uh, Major Griffith. Because I don't want to actually level up anyone else, I actually want to now finish the game, sort of. Because all I have to do now is I need to get um, Mr. Colon an upgrade, Computer like two upgrades, and him an upgrade. And then I'll have all a team of colonels with relatively high will. Like, he's got like 93, holy shit. Um, I know some people are asking, like, why am I not necessarily making everybody Psy? And the reason for that is I only really need two Psy. Um, I, I don't think it's that important, but, you know, it's it's kind of, I guess, how I play. I, I just think two Psy will be more than enough for any kind of... I'm not going to have everybody spam Psy, so, you know, that's pretty much how I'm going to go about it. Uh, another change I've done is, um, for now on, my supports will now be having an alien grenade as their second, uh, slot. Uh, Mkuto can't have two yet, so he can't have that yet. Uh, but when he does, I'll have him with an alien grenade, uh, because I'm not stunning people anymore. Zhang and Griffith will also be, um, uh, carrying around scopes, because that will help their accuracy. And someone suggested that to me, so thank you very much. That's a good suggestion, so I figured I'd take it. So, well, let's go. Well, it's a UFO landing site, so, you know, there's gonna be a lot of guys around. Prepare for deployment, strike one. They're apparently doing abductions of some sort. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental... And here comes XCOM. To save the day. How big is this ship? I kind of saw it in the camera there. It is scary big. Because technically, you know, you can... By the way, the end game for this can last however long you want. You know, as long as I don't end the game, I'll keep going. And I'll keep getting this these random missions. We're in position near the enemy LZ. Strike one is ready to move on your orders. I read you, Big Sky. This was a landing, not a crash. So expect heavy resistance. I apparently need uh, snipers in the five and six slot, because this is where they go. Uh, but anyways, um, I guess... Well, then the UFO's like right here. Um... Here's the question. Do I not want to just move my snipers? Let's just try and move over here. We don't see anybody, so I'm not too concerned. Uh, I, I know I'm really zoomed out. That's actually really cool how far I can zoom out. All right, let's go and uh, just in case, I'm going to stealth my snipers because I am moving them to a slightly less convenient, less inconvenient place. Oh, surprisingly nothing there. All right. Well, I don't need to stealth both of them, so. We're just gonna move everyone here and MQ does awesome tactical barf armor. Alright. And we hear them possibly, I heard them a little bit to the left of my headphones here. Although, that, this is like the, the, this is like the boundary of the map, right? How small is this bloody map? Oh, you, you and I see? Okay. I'm pretty sure that it actually drops you off in random locations. Um, uh, at least I think that's how the game works. I might be wrong on that. All right, well, let's move my heavy up first. Here we go. Ethereal we have. Oh, that's the weirdest face you can make. Well, we can't, uh, we can't do anything with this guy. We can suppress for the moment. He is kind of getting flanked, so we're gonna have to uh, I would like, uh, I would kind of like this person to kind of go and, uh, try and mind control. Unfortunately, judging by the view Griffith, uh, Griffith has, uh, she would actually not be able to move up in time. Uh, she can, however, uh, get a good shot off on that guy. So we could possibly try and open up with some shots on him. Let's see what other options we have. Uh, we have the new Shredder rocket, which is actually kind of neat. Uh, and we could actually hit them both, potentially, with it. Because they'll take dam increased damage from all sources. So, you know what, let's, let's give it a try and let's blow a giant hole in their cover as well. You know, that seems kind of fun. I've never used this ability, so I've never actually really seen it at work. And now they're shredded. So, how much more damage is it per turn? Like, uh, well, I can't see anymore. 
Well, uh, we could open up with that. I would like to save this guy for potentially uh, suppressing. I, I think it would be worthwhile, though, for me to try and take a regular shot on him. With my snipers. Okay, excellent. Which means now it's the opportunity for my, uh, Mr. Colin to actually get his shot off that he's always wanted to get. And that's an ethereal down. You know, you guys have so melodramatic deaths. Jeez. Okay. Uh, well, this should be relatively simple. So, uh, we want to finish up the kill with either Mkudo or uh, our new heavy friend here. Is this him? Uh, no. Uh, Mkudo preferably first. The reason for that being is Mkudo still has a lot to do. Eight damage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, 60% chance to critical. I'll try it. And what do you know? What, the, what did he just do? He just kind of slid off of that. Weird physics. Okay. Um, so remember, our, our main focus here is still to try and get uh, level level ups for, for particular people. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is fun. Hey, Buton Elites. <laughs> well, unfortunately, they've kind of spread themselves. Uh, that's unfortunate, mostly for me. Alright. Well, luckily my snipers didn't go very far. Only one of them has an actual shot. It looks like this, this tree is blocking line of sight. Uh, you know, I could try and get a critical on him, because it's like, it says up to 10. Well, it's a 100% chance for critical. Well, damn. I didn't realize that. Okay, so that takes care of one. Uh, and now we need to deal with these two. Okay, and they're actually not close enough for that. Um, I can do an easy, easy rocket right here. Unfortunately, that will leave him open to attack. Um, however, Griffith is here as well as the other person, so... Uh, you know, the thing is, look at this. He can't actually see them, which means they're not close enough anyway, so... You know what, let's do this. I'm blow up more holes in and shit. There we go. Alright, okay, so uh let's see who we got. Uh triple strike is that's not MQDO. MQDO's here, so I didn't actually shoot the guy with the that I wanted to with MQDO. Alright, let's see. 39 in 53. Uh, I think he also has brain powers. He also has telekinetic field, which is a pro projected protective field for allies. I, I really want to know what that actually does. Oh, it's 99 for both. So let's uh, let's give Griffith a chance to actually shoot. And 53. Well, not a very good chance to hit. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right. Well, let's go get the one that's uh, harder then. Is there anyone else? Who else do I have? It's just uh, Volkov. 67. There we go. Which means it should be really easy for MQ to just follow up with a, a mind fray. Because even though he's behind cover, the cover means nothing. There you go. And no one has to shoot at me for the entire turn. And uh, Volkov can overwatch. Well then, <laughs> you're just coming out of the word work today. Never a moment's peace in XCOM. It's a good thing I guess I'm dispatching them basically on the turn that I see them. So they don't get a chance to shoot back and I love you Volkov. You're a beast, man. Alright, uh, so they ran off. We got one and, okay, so one of our people has a shot. And it's a uh, 45% chance to crit. Zhang, however, can get a really good shot off, so let's, let's get him out to start it off. He kind of hit the thing there, but he can get two shots. There you go. Okay. Now with that, uh, I'm confident that Mr. Colin will follow up with an amazing sniper shot. My confidence was unfounded. 
All right, well, let's start getting people the upgrades they want today. There you go. And just in time to kill him, yes. Good shit. Uh, I don't know what to do for everyone else. Um, I'm, I'm, I am concerned slightly about the other guy. Well, let's bring uh, our, our squaddy right here. Uh, we have a really good chance to crit right here. Um, can you get a good shot off? Hopefully this will not be a one-hit kill. Yes, excellent. So, we weaken it, so it's basically like a nice little tag team thing we got going on here. I love it. And you should have no trouble with that. Yeah, okay, let's try it. Ah, oh, you missed. Well, nice try, Mkito. I'll only resent you for the rest of your life. Nobody else really needs that training, so... Remember, that is the kind of theme we're going for right now. But they get—they all get like faster levels too. Are, are you kidding? It's like never a dull moment in this game. <laughs> oh, they're just regular floaters. Oh, that guy's so dead. The bodies are flying at us from everywhere. All right. Well, what chest do you have? Sixty-two. Kind of like gonna be inclined to kind of just come over here and shoot him. And that's a really easy shot. Oh, there you go. You got him at least, you know. Alright, and my other heavy is right here. And I'm gonna bring him over here and shoot at him. It's not a very good chance to hit. But he'll make it happen anyways. Another one down. Good Well, let's see who got upgrades today. You know, they all just came right at me. I didn't really have to do anything. I, I love it when missions happen like that, you know, they just kind of, they come to you one by one. It's like, oh, you're done with that, that last group? Go, go kill them. Good shit. Good shit, I tell you. But yeah, we're not going anywhere until everyone's colonel, so, you know. We can only hope that all of our future deployments go as well as this one did. Well, uh, Mkudo still has uh, a little bit to go. Uh, MQ is the one I really have to focus on. <laughs> Holy shit, Volkov, 115. Christ. Uh, let's see how my other colonel's like level up at about thir level 30. Colon should be like about a kill away. But yeah, good, good shit. I don't think we have anything to do here. Yeah, I was gonna do it just for just for shits and giggles. Yeah, we're gonna move that. Make a laboratory. It's because I've never made one before. I want to see how it looks. And I have like four four thousand and ninety nine dollars. Nice. All right. What's what's North America one for me? Cannot complete anyway, so it's okay. Not like I'd give them that. Jeez. Screw up. Uh. Yeah. I got. I got really nothing else. Oh. Well, aliens are terrorizing Marcel. Where the hell is that? Oh, well, we don't really know where the hell that is. Well, or at least I don't. And if you use Google to find out where it is, you're cheating. It looks like France, though. So, uh, well, until then, we will be watching.